all right guys welcome to another video and this is a very special video for me i was just at the gym uh about 30 minutes back when i got this email from the toefl uh people the ets people telling me that my score is finally out now i had been pretty anxious because you know it's been like you know a few days and they weren't really giving out my score i was kind of annoyed with that and i'm not a very patient person to be to be honest so uh i was really happy i just you know rushed back and i kind of checked my score and let me just show you my scores so i got a 119 of the on the toefl as you can see i scored a perfect 30 in all of the sections apart from the reading on which i just went off the mark by one mark and that was also because you know like i said if you if you don't know why you know what kind of an atmosphere it is on the toefl center i, I really highly recommend you go and watch that i'm going to put a link in the description or put it at the end of this video when I, uh, there's a video of my actual toefl day what happened i even kind of try to reveal some of the questions of that day so you can go check that out and you'll be able to you know uh, make sure you get the best out of your toefl and not make this mistake the same mistake like i could have done this i could have gotten 120 i know but this 29 on the reading section you can see on the uh, in the previous video it's only because of the atmosphere right but you can avoid that mark my words right so this is my toefl score i'm really happy i was kind of anxious let's let's try to focus on how you can get this kind of a score let's try to basically you know make sure that you get it in your first go by the way this was my first go so let's make sure that you don't mess up even one time toefl is a very simple exam and you can actually ace it that's if you follow the right kind of material all right so let's let's actually you know go with it all right first thing you want to do is give a mock test all right and you cannot really you know get your score what kind of a score you will get let me show you why first of all where do you want to give your mock test right let me just show you these are the three ets books you should be having this book you should buy it or what i can tell you is you can get this book online let me just show you how you can go to this website i always prefer this website for books apart from torrents you know torrents are just not good they are basically full of ads and no one really approves of them so well not even this is approved but still you know ets toefl just right over here and i think it should pop up all of the books and this will give you the books and basically there will be no duplicates on this website see this is the first edition toefl ibt now the book that's actually you know being used right now is probably the fourth edition or the fifth edition you know so you're gonna have to look for it on torrents i guess but basically you can actually you know find most of the books over here like everything you can find over here literally i i always come to this website even when i need any anything really so you can actually you know see this uh this is probably the the fourth they have not mentioned the edition but i think the edition is usually mentioned over here over here like this is the third edition and i think the third edition is still good but because you know most people are still using the fourth edition when they buy it right so you can actually do that uh this is the toefl book buy this and it'll come with a cd the cd will have basically this thing this is a software you can use to test yourself give your mock test give your diagnostic test whatever you want to call it the reading section is graded the listening section again is graded the speaking and writing section is just there it's not graded because the software cannot really grade it all right so these are some of my scores that you might be interested in knowing uh, but this is about it right so this comes with like three tests the other one is like they have two more books volume one and volume two these are official toefl ibt tests they're going to provide you with five tests each with each book so both of the books come with a cd each and you're going to have basically five tests on each cd so what you can do is really you know it's it's basically collectively these three books from the ibt toefl ibt they they give you 13 tests right 13 is a lot i mean even if you do a test a day it's gonna be like a lot of time like the test takes about four hours and well this is basically gonna help you really all right now let me just tell you i never really practiced the writing section per se but my writing was really good because of the gre and i'll make separate videos on tips on how to basically go about the writing section the listening section whatever you want i'll make these videos just mention in the description below if you have a problem with a particular section and i will try my best to make the video as soon as possible all right now these are the three books you should buy i recommend buying because they come with dvds or uh, cds whatever right next 
the only thing I followed apart from this is, by the way, I also have that Cambridge book. It's lying over there. Let me just show it to you over here. Cambridge, do you feel? I don't think you should buy this book. Just saying, this is not the best way to go about your TOEFL. It's not TOEFL based at all. Like the questions, this book basically tries to teach you English and you don't have the time to learn English. You want to make sure that you, you just prepare for the test and not prepare for generic English, not get stuck up with tenses and, you know, your basic things. Like it tries to give you a foundation. It's a good thing if you want to go for long term thing, but I don't think you should go for it if you have so anything, you know, uh, any expectations of scoring really high on the TOEFL. Some people might, you know, discourage me for saying that, but I, this is my personal review, right? I, I have my choice, I have my veto. So this is not the book I would recommend you should go for if you, if you, you know, believe in me. So anyway, instead, I, I believe you should go with this book. This book is about 3,600 bucks. I know it's a lot. The Kindle edition probably won't give you access to the online resources that come with it. Let me just show you how it is like, again, this is the soft copy of that book. You can get it, you can, you know, use it. It's got like all of these things, but the only problem is that it has listened to track 35 and whatever, you don't know where these tracks are. Let me tell you where these tracks are. Uh, by the way, this is the thing that comes the closest to the test. This is the five pound books from Manhattan for the TOEFL. And I think there's like no better resource for studying for the TOEFL, for preparing for the TOEFL. I'm not saying for testing yourself. For testing yourself, the best resource is the ETS guides, right? The ones I showed you before, uh, 13 tests. Yeah, that one. But this one is to prepare and work on your mistakes and see where you're going wrong. This is the thing you should, you wanna invest your time in, you wanna invest your money in, right? And it's probably available on Flipkart for a bit cheaper. I trust uh, Amazon a lot more. Anyway, uh, it comes with this online access. You can actually, you know, basically just open whichever track, like it said, track 37, you can just open it over here, like this track, you just click on it and it's going to open up the track and you can basically play the audio file, whatever. So it's that simple. And it's it's got like 450 tracks right over here with solutions, with responses from people. So, you know, you can do that. Listen again I'm to not part really, of the know, lecture. Giving you a tour then of the, this thing, the but question. again, this is a good to have thing if you, if you can really go for it. Now, a lot of people might, you know, be kind of, uh, well, they wouldn't want to invest so much money in it. If that is the case, you can personally message me on my on my WhatsApp or my Instagram. Actually, I prefer Instagram. Uh, you can actually text me over there, and basically we can talk, and I can I can give you access to this account. We can you know have this as a shared account or something for a pretty cheap deal. So that's something you can do. But again, if you prefer buying it, go buy it. But I really think that this is the best book for, to prepare for the GRE. I honestly do. I prepared from this book. I almost have done, you know, 60, 70% of this book. And then I just appeared for my TOEFL. I did not have the time, right? Uh, one more thing that I would like to stress over here is it's important to keep testing yourself, right? Like I told you ETS books, and then there's the Manhattan portal, right? With the book, of course. And then it's important to keep testing yourself like you have 13 tests. If you're doing the Manhattan book to kind of improve yourself or whatever you prefer to improve yourself, well, side by side, you should be doing something that helps you assess where you're going right, all right? So basically you should, you should really keep testing yourself. You have 13 tests, remember, that's a lot. 13, like I prepared for my TOEFL in 15 days. I had a month between my GRE and my TOEFL, but the first 15 days, I just wasted it. The last, the next 15 days, the, the, this fortnight, I, I've studied hard for it. And then that's really the result that you're seeing in front of you. I want you guys to have the same kind of result and I know you can. It's very easy. It's not hard at all. All you need to do is really, you know, kind of um, really get into it, get into that mindset. Don't get distracted so easily when you're preparing. Just prepare. Do these books and they will help you out. I promise you, really. If you can, just dedicate all of your time to it for a few days. Ten days can can get do you wonders. This result that I'm showing you, it's it's about you know 15 days of preparation, probably even less. Like 15 days is the maximum. I'm I'm telling you, it's not really even 15. If I'm if, like I didn't count, but I'm just giving an appro approximate measure. So go with these books, and I wish you the best of luck.
if there's any anything that I can help you with, just mention it down in the comments down below. Again, if you would like me to make specific videos on each section, I would love to. I have I have tips for you. Like, oh, one more thing I forgot to mention is that you should, if you are you know new to the test, you should actually kind of check out Noteful on YouTube. It will help you out. The videos they are very good. Check out their videos. I I personally use use their templates. But again, there still are a lot of things that you know they don't cover, and it's basically you know about the strategies and the tips and tactics you can use to really make sure that you don't mess up on the TOEFL day. And I can I can basically you know provide them to you if you like. Just mention down in the comments below. I will make a video each for each section. All right. Again, thanks for uh, thanks for being so patient with me. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, thanks for all your support. Please like this video if, if you think this helped you and give me a thumbs up. You know, subscribe. I will be.